a deadly fire in the city's Harrogate section near Kings, uh, uh, Kensington happened on the 1800 block of Russell Street just after 4.30 this morning. Firefighters battled flames spreading across about five different porches. One resident was located dead inside of their home. Fighters, fighters say there were no working smoke detectors in that particular house. Two other residents were hurt. In total, 13 people are displaced. And again, it didn't happen that long ago. Well, you probably went to bed. Uh, this happened late, but we got it done. A historic night in Chicago. Kamala Harris is the Democratic candidate for president. The vice president spoke about her journey and of being immersed in civil rights from a young age. She also detailed her career as a prosecutor, which also she laid out where she stands on major issues such as reproductive rights and foreign policy. Never let anyone tell you who you are. You showed them who you are. Let us show each other and the world who we are and what we stand for. Freedom, opportunity, compassion, dignity, fairness, and endless possibilities. So we are now 74 days away from Election Day. So 73 more days of political ads here on Good, <laughs> Good Day Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Uh, Pink performed last night. We'll show you that in just a little bit. But let's get back to Philly here. Changes are coming to the Philadelphia 911 system. We need it. It comes after that deadly mass shooting in July of 2023 when police were sent to the wrong address. So Marcus is over there on uh, Callow Hill right now. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mike, yeah, so that was the catalyst, right, that really got this in motion and got some momentum, that mass shooting in King Sessing last year and that major mix-up sending police officers to the wrong direction, north instead of south, and that, of course, could have had negative impacts. We'll never know what the alternate reality is if they had been sent to the right location, but nonetheless now they are trying to make sure that that does not happen again they're going to do that a couple different ways mike and alex they're they're trying to encourage folks to stay longer as dispatchers and they want to be able to provide a path for upward mobility so that basically means they can become a supervisor now and they are trying to compete with neighboring dispatch centers where they're noticing people are going to fulfill that upward mobility and of course everybody wants to move up in life i'd imagine in their workplace and and have more pay and have more responsibility if they so wish so wish to choose to do so and now i think that is what is being offered here and in fact it is being offered now because they want to make sure they have the most experienced dispatchers possible and the more experience generally comes with a better performance in your job and they want to make sure that they can eliminate the mistakes that happened last summer in King Sessing when the man grabbed an AR style rifle and started shooting at people randomly on the street killing several including a young teenager as well so that is the uh, catalyst as I mentioned earlier for trying to enact these changes get more dispatchers staying long term. It was unacceptable to understand how we have these men and women who are giving each and every day the work that they do, but not be able to provide a supervisory track for them to move up in their work. That experience uh, and that level of commitment that they bring to the organization should not be lost because they now want to move on to other positions of supervisory rank. And so this again is the start of something that we think is absolutely critical. Also, increased starting pay included in that as well, and something I've been mentioning all morning. They have budgeted up to 360 dispatchers, but they only have 300 filling those roles right now, Mike and Alex. So 60 open spots right now if you're interested in getting into this career and they want to try to encourage you to stay there and make it a career and move forward and, of course, keep the city safe. wonder what that pays. I have to look that up. Well, yeah, it, go ahead. It's about 50000 when you 50? get in there, and then it can go from there. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, that's, that's good money. Yeah.